Yeah, it's, it's different because, you know, it's, there's not a lot of people who look like me in snowboarding. And like, you know, that obviously traveling and being in different places where there's no one who looks like me is a lot different. But at the same time, I think it's a great opportunity to, you know, to show people that there's so many different things you can do besides play basketball. Welcome back to Pack Heavy Chase Light, a series from DB showcasing filmers, photographers, editors, and other creatives. Josh Zucker. Uh, I'm Louis Medeiros. My name is Timothy Myers. Yo, it's Oscar I'm Christopher. I'm called Benjamin Ortega. My name is Ola Stebre. For episode five, we have Louis Medeiros. And it's super safe to say that he's psychotically nice. And when I met Louis, he pretty much explained to me he's brand new to this. He grew up in Compton in LA, and now he's shooting snowboarding. And when he started shooting, he didn't really know how to snowboard. He used to play college basketball. And he told me that he used to just boot it up the mountain just because he wanted to shoot and he wanted to learn. And then he sent me clips of him snowboarding. He's already a super talented snowboarder. For this episode, we drove around in Sacramento. It's like 100 degrees outside, and Lewis's old Honda doesn't have air conditioning. About 100 degrees in Sacramento. We've got no AC, we've got no gas, and that's how we like to live life, on the edge. Anyways, I'm just going to shut up now. Welcome to episode five of Pack Heavy Chase Light. Hey, what's up? I'm Louis Medeiros. I'm 26. I'm from Los Angeles, California, and I'm a filmer. Well, honestly, I didn't start shooting until two years ago. And the first thing I started doing was shooting for the college I graduated from, um, where I played college basketball at. Yeah, the next thing I started shooting was snow. Growing up playing basketball, being indoors most of your entire fun life, I would say, and then to moving into the mountains where nothing is ever the same, it's, it's a blessing, it's an amazing experience, and everyone should go outside. <laughs> One unusual thing that I always have in my bag is we're gonna pull out my insert. If you pull out my insert, I always have a SD holder. I just have it loose in there, just so I can always be on my toes and just remember that there's something small in there. Kinda gets my memory going for all the other little stuff. So we'll just put How does it. that work? You know, I just leave it in there and hopefully I always check if it's there when I leave anywhere. And then that kinda reminds me to look through my whole bag and also, you know, I might need it, switching my GoPro into my cam and my other SDs are in my SD card holder. So this thing really comes in handy. Yeah, if you, if you can't find this, then there's a lot of shit wrong. So you just gotta figure it out. Other roles when I'm not filming is um, I'm a full-time uncle for all the young kids that hang out with me. It's kind of funny, all my friends ask me, why are you always hanging out with kids? I was like, cause I don't like hanging out with you guys. Yeah. It's actually pretty funny because I can't 360 yet. You know, my job is to ride and film. But um, yeah, I'm always. He's all like, "What? Am, what am I doing wrong?" And I'm like, "Ah, you got to keep spinning. You know, that's that's what you got to do." A lot of it's mentally. You know, a lot of these kids are super talented. All you got to do is just give them confidence mentally, and they can do it. You know, it all starts up top. If you got it up top, then everything else will flow. The thing I'm most proud of is I'm working on a movie right now called The Onlys. It's called The Onlys because it's about all the professional black snowboarders and usually if you're black and you're snowboarding, you're the only person on the mountain that is black. So I called it The Onlys and when I started, I figured out what my passion was and I really wanted to give people who look like me a voice on the mountain and there's a lot of people who are already putting in so much work as professional athletes and minorities on the mountain and just in general. So yeah, I've been filming this movie and. I'll film it all next year as well, and then 2024 I'll release it, and this is kind of like a little teaser I put together. Yeah, growing up in LA, we, I did not need to know what all-wheel drive and four-wheel drive was, so when I moved up here and started driving to the mountains, they said, you need all wheel drive. And I was like, what is that? All the wheels drive. And they're like, no, all the wheels don't drive. So I got an all wheel drive car. This is black and tan, handy dandy Honda. And uh, it does have all wheel drive. And I'm always ready to go to the mountains. Cause I'm a mountain man. Mountain man Lou. <laughs> So 
So right now we are at William Jessup University. This is where I played college basketball and graduated from just two short years ago. We're gonna get in the gym with my man Daryl and uh, shoot some clips of him, get some shots up. Last time I played ball was the last time I was here. Huh? Coming from basketball to snowboarding is it's a complete change in like general people and the people you work with, but overall it's kind of the same motivation. It's the same thing. You, it's hard work, you know. It's like when I played basketball, I was really a like a swag type of player. I kind of just did whatever I wanted with confidence and. I kind of like putting that into my filming and just kind of being like, you know, super confident in my riding because shoot, being black and on the mountain, it's a thing to be proud of. Just like when you put all those hours in the gym and you make a shot, it's a thing to be proud of. Oh, I'm nice. Dude, I used to, what? <laughs> uh, we're on the tail end of winter and recently I have been working on the Coach Shifters event. And that was an event where we invited a bunch of different people and from a bunch of different backgrounds of social media, you know, where it's with music, whatever the case may be, and we invited them to go snowboarding. I've been snowboarding for 32 years, and I still get the looks. You know? I still get people sometimes who are like, oh, I did. It's cool that you're out here. Didn't know that you guys did this. So the main goal with Culture Shifters is to show people in the diverse community that, you know, there's a space in the outdoor snowboard world for you, which there is. And I, I'm a, a key source of that, you know, just being able to live my life how I do now from being inside the gym to now always being in the mountains. We're just trying to invite people in and, you know, show them the culture that we have in snowboarding and grow the community in the extreme sports world through snowboarding and through the mountains because the mountains really do change so many things for people. Can you hit some jumps? <sighs> I'll represent taking over Aspen. Right, it's been a blessing. We definitely want more people snowboarding. It's the best thing ever. It's like my first, it's my first time shooting for the US snowboard team and I'm kind of, it's like my first time actually being allowed on like a competitive, high stakes course. There's a lot going on. I was nervous. I was nervous as shit. I'm like, damn, they let me on the course. Who the fuck let me on the course? <laughs> Sparky hit me up and was like, yo, Lou, you got any clips? And I was like, there's some fucking no way that he just asked me that. Mark McMorris, Mr. Mr. Hulk. Just, I like to call him that because he's just like a brick. Asked for clips and I looked at his clips and they were the worst clips I had ever done. They were the worst clips of the week. There was so much snow on the lens and there's these big ass black spots. I, I feel like this is some weird movie. He's gonna whisper behind my ear, like, hey Lou, you wanna take a lap? And that's exactly what happened. Lou, you wanna take one? What? We start going and I've never gone this fast in my life with my camera that costs more than my car and we're just hauling ass. And the first once, you, once they start going to them jumps, y'all, look at this, look at this, look at this. We're, keep them in frame, Lou. I'm, go, I'm struggling. I'm sure you saw the shake, I was struggling. Look, I had to switch angles because I was struggling. <laughs> I was glad I didn't fall because you know, you catch an edge there, you going that fast, you probably die or like wish you died. It's just, it's a lot of, and then your camera's gone. So you might as well have died because there's no reason for me to be there with no cam. Hey, shout out to Spark for always giving me this random shots and me failing every time. A travel cheat code is always bring a blanket. And everyone who flies to Denver knows that you always end up sleeping in the Denver airport. Oh, because you know, you miss a flight or there's a storm or it's windy or you can't fly into Aspen because it's also windy or you missed your first flight and you're late. Like me, sometimes, half of the time. I'm not ever late, I just, the check-in times from when you gotta get to the airport and when you leave your house are just, sometimes you mess up, you know?
<laughs> Let's go that way. Let's go on the other side. I always listen to the talent. The talent knows what they want. They get what they want. It's hot as the devil's tits out here, boy. Oh, I'm sweating like a whore in church. Yeah, we'll go wide. It's just some it's nice scenic shots out here. Always got to get that dust off the lens. They're called. <laughs> Super fun working with a kid like LJ. Obviously, he's very young in his adolescent snowboard career. And like we get to basically mentor each other. He gets to tell me about snowboard stuff and I get to tell him about life stuff. Yeah, we get to grow together and also, it's more than just filming, you know, once you, when you film with someone, it's more of a great long-term relationship that you're building because yeah, yeah, we film together, but we hang out a lot more than we'll be filming together. He's like another one of my little brothers. So being able to just learn how to film and being in snow has been, has been a lot different than I thought it would be because I kind of thought I'd just walk out there and film. And that's not how it is. Just like basketball, snowboarding has its, its do's and don'ts and, and it, it goes like that when it's filming. But it's been awesome. You know, I just kind of stay with my own style and take some lessons from people that I, I see are doing some dope stuff. But it, it's not a hard journey, you know? It's just time and effort and like anything, consistency and some hustle. If you got hustle, you can do anything. Yeah. Talent is fired, obviously. <laughs> what is Pack Heavy Chase like? Heavy chase light. Oh, chase the light. Nice. Yeah. Pack heavy chase light. Pack all your stuff because who knows when you're going to go back home. The days get piled on when you're shooting. So pack all your stuff. Maybe an extra toothbrush because I seem to always lose mine and my toothpaste. Toilet trees are very hard to come by. <laughs> what does that have to do with lighting? My teeth are white, so they bring some light. I hope I bring some light to your day with a smile. <laughs> oh, dude, I didn't think I didn't think that meant chase the sun. I thought like pack light as in weight. I'm gonna need to hurry up and make these. These things right here go. All right, Sam, appreciate you. Shout out to the DB crew. I'm gonna keep all the bags. Sam, you hope you get home safely. My man Daryl will take care of you. Uh, whatever you left at my house, it'll just be mine. <laughs>